What's going on guys? So today we're going to go over a review of our 7x12 utility landscape trailer. Um, having a utility trailer for your landscaping business is definitely just all around a great use of a piece of equipment. I mean, you can use this for stone, for brush, for mowers. I mean, when our, if our both trailers would ever go down, we would use this for mowers. I know there's one time where we had so much rain where we took our backup mowers out and I had this loaded and racked up for two days worth of mowing for someone to go out with while we went out with the other stuff. Um, but we use this trailer mainly for mulch. As you can tell, we take care of the wood. You gotta keep it stained so the mulch doesn't ruin the wood. But what you can see is some of the weak parts due to the moisture the mulch holds and everything like that from it sitting on there year round. Well, not year round, you know, all of spring and most of the summer. We do mulch from March through August. I mean, there's always mulch to be done. We always get calls. So this is mainly our mulch trailer and it's been great. Um, a couple features this thing has is it is double axle with electric brakes, which is great. I mean, with our Rams, you can't even feel, I mean, you can't even feel the trailer behind you. And at most we'll have, if it's very dry and we don't have rain, I'll put about five, six scoops of mulch on here. But usually we just run four to five, six is, six is dragging a little bit. But, um, you know, again, these don't have the easy grease Zerks, so you have to take the tires off and grease the bearings, and we do that once a month um, with the amount of, you know, drive time this thing sees, mainly in the spring and the beginning of the summer but again like i said this thing's probably on the road in the spring five to six days a week and then in the summer usually three to four with the amount of mulch we're doing um the biggest no-brainer was to put our sign on the back this costs 300 bucks it's you know it's not cheap metal but it's definitely a little bit of heavy duty there and we just through bolted it I centered it. Um, again, no one walks on this or anything, so I don't mind the bolts hanging out there. Um, it does have the two side pins. I come down. But again, this thing never comes down. But you can see how it'd be great to unload brush and mowers. Um, the beginning years, we used this for brush and it is not fun uh, to hand pull the brush out, hence our dump trailer across the street. So saved up and solely used this for mulch. Um, I do go everything in the winter. Usually we pull it in the garage here and just go over everything, bits and pieces. So there's no issues in the winter, um, but we will go over some of the features we have on it. We do have the two, these are just um, metal racks up here. Nothing fancy, these are buyer's racks. And then there's a buyer's toolbox up here. Usually pitchforks, shovels, all spring. Um, it is a carry-on make. Uh, you have your electric box here, hand winch under here, electric. The works, I mean, it's a basic utility trailer. Um, it's just definitely something cheap for a landscape business. I think this seven by 12 cost us, I think it was 3000 cash. I mean, you make that back <laughs> in a week of mulch easily, very easy. Um, but that's about it guys. I mean, this is a basic seven by 12 trailer. Um, you know, it's all around useful. I mean, like I said before, your bigger trailers go down. You can use this for almost anything. We have it loaded up with ladders, fencing, like I said before, stone, mulch, brush. So it's definitely, I mean, definitely a go-to trailer. Um, now I think I said before, usually we go over everything in the hubs in the winter. I... Cross crisscross the tires. 
Um, just check the pads, everything like that. Um, we put some miles on this thing. Um, we did add the walls here. Learned the hard way by getting two scoops of mulch and it kind of just fell out the sides. So this is as high as we go with the walls. I'm not going to make anything crazy high and just overload it and blow out the trailer. Not going to happen. Um, that's about it. Usually in the toolbox we keep, you know, gloves, pins, everything you need for mulch pretty much. Weeding tools, all that kind of stuff. Um, that's about it, guys. I uh, just wanted to do a quick review of, you know, any utility trailer you can use for anything landscaping really um all right thanks for watching